What's up everybody? I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Today I'll be showing you this beautiful thing. The Raspberry Tea Me. And I'll tell you what, it's so cold in the den today that I am wearing my Soulfire Streetwear beanie. I'll leave a link to their website and their other socials in the description box below. If you're interested, stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you some more. For this recipe, I am using 9 litres of boiled water, 35 initial tea bags, 200 grams of sugar, 1 kilogram of initial raspberries, and 2.7 kilograms of honey. First thing we're going to do is make our yeast starter. The two and a half grams of goat firm and two grams of our yeast today, Mangrove Jacks R56. Perfect for rich body red wines with exceptional flavour complexity. We start this off by measuring two and a half grams of goat firm. And then we add that to 100 ml of warm water. Next, we measure out our yeast. Two grams of this yeast is just under half a packet. So what we can do is fold this up, put it in a sealed container, and store it in the fridge. Then you just want to add it to our go-through food. So next what I'll be doing is I'll be adding our honey and then our tea to our fermenter. Why is that slowly pouring into our fermenter? A good way to get all your honey would be to grab your tea and just pour it into our little honey pots. Just a little bit. Now we're on a good line for us to start shaking it to get a bit of oxygen in there and just to mix that honey around. Splashing at this point is a good thing. As you can see, we've given ourselves a nice foamy head. That's a good indicator of us having oxygen into our mast. If you think you're done shaking, shake it some more. Now 
Now at this point we want to add our raspberries to it, otherwise we're just going to have a honey tea. Just a quick shake again. Just a little rock. Just to get all the juices and the flavours mixed in. So before I pitch my yeast now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hydrometer reading. Now we're on to the last couple of steps. What we're going to do is we're going to add our yeast and add some pectinase. Okay, so it's been just over three weeks now and we're going to revisit our raspberry tea need. What we'll do is we're going to take our hydrometer reading to find out our alcohol by volume. Then we'll be transferring it into our secondary vessel where we can finish off the fermenting process and let it age. Here I am dropping the hydrometer into a sample of the fermented meat. This will give me a reading of the sugars consumed by the yeast. This reading is 1.00, also known as dry. The original gravity was 1.086, which makes this 11.3% ABV. I am now crushing up two Camden tablets and adding two teaspoons of stabilizer. This helps stop the fermentation and preserve the meat. Once that is ready, you just want to drop it into your secondary vessel.
Okay, there we are. We've racked to our secondary vessel and we've left behind all our waste. Now, I will admit, I have had a little bit of a cheeky taste and it's not quite to the raspberry tea flavor that I want. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be adding a kilogram of raspberries and about 10 more tea bags. Because we've added more fruit to this now, I'm going to add another couple teaspoons of pectolase. Once that's all done, you just want to add your airlock to it. and leave it sit for a couple of weeks to a month. Right, we're back. I've left it a little longer than I wanted to. It's been about three weeks since we last looked at the raspberry tea mead. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rack again into the glass carboy or a vessel, just leaving behind all the dead bit of waste here and the tea bags. All the raspberries that we put in it last time have dropped to the bottom, losing their colour, which means all of the flavour has been taken from the raspberries. Let's get into it. Since adding the raspberries and the tea bags, I haven't noticed any activity in the airlock. So I'm not going to take another hydrometer reading. Although, if you like, you, you could do, because there is a potential that it may have fermented a slight bit. But I'm not too worried about that. And there we are, that's it. So I've racked from this one into this one, into the glass vessel, where I'll leave it sit for, I'll we'll say two months, just so it can sort of clear out, let some more flavors enhance itself, just age in general. This is what we were left with, just a mush of raspberries 
and tea bags. As you can see, there is still quite a bit of fluid in there, but you don't really want that. I mean, you can have it, but I'd rather have a nice dark ruby red, clear raspberry iced tea. And now, as promised, Soul Fire Street is a small independent clothing brand with big quality and high embroidering capacity. They provide you with everyday streetwear essentials, ranging from beanies to bags, flannels to raglans, tees to dresses. Soul Fire would definitely make you stand out in a crowd. So follow this link to their Instagram where you can find updates and new merch. Dig deep and find your soul fire. I fully enjoyed making this one. If you head to my socials, which are up above, you can take part in polls for the Big 60 Challenge. I'll also check out questions so you can decide on a 50-50, which I should make next. Thanks for watching guys, have a good day.